people um, it's a pleasure to make this video and in this video I want us to review one powerful tool that is um, um, an AI translation tool called the DeepL. DeepL is an AI translation tool and I bought the subscription a few days ago and I think I've exhausted my subscription time but this tool has been very helpful so I want to review the parts of the deep l so the site is called deepl.com and it translates um several it performs document translation like the pdf the word the excel and powerpoint this i think the four um four document types it's it supports so we can see we support the pdf doc that's a document word document excel files and ppt files then the txt that is text files and then html and then xlib i don't know what xlib is but we can find the definition of xlib so when you click on the the ad that is the info info icon the superscript info icon it takes us to this website on the deep l and it talks about the document format so we can see what xlib means um i don't know what x i think it didn't give a definition and um it tells us the free service fine you can use deep l for um for document translation and for the free service it trans it translates only one document per day you can use it for only one document per day but for um, the subscription based I bought a subscription based for 24 hours and you can translate as many files that you want so I'm going to demonstrate um, first of all I'm going to demonstrate how we can use all in writing um, I'm China and most I'll be converting Chinese text to English and when you see from the platform we can we have the down the part that you can download the several um versions we have the free windows app and i think this is the subscription um, account which i cannot disclose and then this is the deep l right that is when when you click on it um when you click on it it's going to you can write documents that's documents written in chinese or english so let me look for uh, maybe a chinese document let me go to a website where all the chi all the languages in, um, in chinese and see how um, we can translate so let me look for a document on my pc and um, we can move move on from there um okay let's say i have this tool and let me just stop the translator and then just uh, say uh, you should show the original. Math sciences, medical sciences, chemical sciences. So I'm going to select all these two, all these words in Chinese and copy to DeepL to see how it's going to translate. So it supports from the website, it shows that it supports the three languages. That is from Arabic, Bulgarian, sorry, Bulgarian, not Bulgarian, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech to Ukrainian. So we are going to use the, the translation. So, okay, I have one here. So let's try this one and see one more time. So I'm going to paste my text here. That is my Chinese text. Uh, when you paste it, it's going to automatically, you know, detect that is um chinese text is able to detect all right so we click on um i think it's chinese so we click on chinese sorry this is just bothering me Let me just reload the page again. Let me refresh the page and see because it supports Chinese to English. So let's move on and see. Sorry, Deeper Translator. Yeah. So we use the Deeper Translator to tell the translate and it's going to detect the. Yeah. 
so as you can see it translates from um, the Chinese because one thing is that when you automatically paste the text it's going to translate from the Chinese language to English automatically it's able to detect the text um, automatically and this tool has been very helpful for students especially students residing in non-english speaking countries you can translate your thesis abstract because i know um for us in china when you write our thesis the abstract you have to provide a chinese abstract before the english abstract that is the first thing that will appear on your on your page after the the nomenclature and then the table of contents yeah so for a typical thesis style i'm going to show you my thesis i'm going to use my thesis as a reference here so i'll look for my thesis yeah my phd thesis and please do not copy my text anyway please i'm going to use this okay let me just use an old thesis old thesis i have an old thesis that i that, that i corrected few i think last year so i'm going to use that and then we, we we check how it works so i think it says that this one will be it yeah so this is my master's thesis all right so i click on my master's thesis so not this one I want to use an old thesis style okay so something like this thesis one I'll be uh, thesis I'll be one um, I'm going to open this file and then convert this is my master's thesis so I'm going to convert that from English to Chinese because you can see this is the Chinese abstract and this is my English abstract so I'm going to copy all this text so that it translates everything for me so i copy i think i'll copy from the abstract to the keywords all right to the keywords and i write sorry, from abstract and then i right click to copy the text and then i go to my deep l and then i paste in my english text so Control v Control V is going to translate all the text in English to Chinese, and you can also it can also provide you with an um, with an enhancement. All right, so if you are dissatisfied with the with the text, it's going to provide you. So you can see it has provided everything. So let's copy it back, you know, or let's open a Word document and copy it back. So from here. This is what you can do. You can you don't need to copy the whole text. You can just use this button, and it is going to copy. So copy to clipboard, and then we open a new word document. We open a new word document, and then we paste Control V. Yeah. So when we paste, um, we are also going to translate back to English because, um, we want to see if the the text we copied is similar to what we translated and word can also perform word processor can also do the translation so i'm going to right click and click on translate and it's ask access me do do to translate a document text um text will be sent over the internet blah 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 do you want do you wish to proceed i click on yes and i am translating from chinese to english so you can see here that is the abstract is written here. The so abstract said classic um sign in was introduced and then we we can say copy and then um control V again. So this is the abstract. This is the abstract. Anyway, sorry, this is the abstract and we can compare the text if it's the same as what I copied now let's um i think there's there's some slight variations but we can take it to maybe um chat gpt to also perform the translation so i'll click on my chat gpt here and i'll just um click on maybe translator or you can say just translate to english and let's see so translate 
can say translate this text this text translate this text to English and maintain the technical logic logic of sorry, maintain of the text all right and then what again do we ask chat gpt uh, maintain the technical logic and keywords of the text so i click on this and it's going to translate so here's a translated blah 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 so it's, it keeps on translating so um dpl is i think is effective very effective for translation better than i would say a slightly better slightly better than chat gpt so maybe i copy this and then i take it back to my text to see yeah, to see if the yeah so we can say, say yeah so you can see it has given the same translation to what we copied initially now let what i mean when it supports document translation i'm going to input a text uh, maybe not a text file but i'm going to input maybe um, a file okay um there's a company i was applying to and they sent me via what do you call it their, their brochure like the introductory brochure so you are going to take that file and then check on how we can use that to do some uh, translations document translation that is pdf so i'll go to my job application and i'll go to the lesson interview and this is the this is the file so the file i open the file and i think it's in chinese i want to i want the one which is only in english okay so let me just give an example i don't have the english version here but um maybe i can use my uh cv cv that is in english too it will convert my my cv in chinese sorry in english to chinese so i'm going to drag and drop drag and drop cv abby so that it translates to chinese all right translate to chinese and translate and edit so maybe i also translate to chinese now it's going after that after that translation is going to edit it and then we, but i'll look for a chinese um file we can look for a chinese file i think it's ready to have translation is ready so it's access us they want to download pdf or download we also download pdf if you want word you can also do word ready so and my cv is... has been translated but it's not looking great anyway it's not looking that text is not looking that great for me it's not looking that great similarly I want to look for a chinese file maybe i should go to my wechat which are files that are in Chinese um, file storage sorry about this and let me see if I have anything that is in Chinese yeah so I think this is in Chinese it is the file yeah it's in Chinese we are going to translate this document all right so I also do sorry I also do the drag and drop drag and drop so translate files translate files and then i do the drag and drop that would be easier so drag and drop anyway it's going to translate to chinese so this is the document i was talking about so this tool per the review and per my experience i think is better I uh, when you are in China, you can buy the subscription from Taobao. You can buy for twenty four hours or one um one week, seven days, maybe three months. It depends on what you want. It depends on your budget. 
but it's very good for translate uh, translation. And it says translate and edit. Let's do the translate translate and edit option. And let's see how it's going to work out. Okay. Okay, sorry. I think we made a mistake here. So we are going to translate to um, American English. Yeah, English. Into English, American. Translate to American English. Translate and edit. Yeah. So this tool is very easy to use. It's not so difficult to use. And before you download, it gives you an overview of what the text that was in the PDF file. So the text that was the, in the PDF file, we can see it's extracted. It's extracted it and pasted it over here. And then by translation and editing, you translated and edited any text to English. So all these Chinese texts were translated to English. So we can see um, this is the company profile. So let's um, check on the, on the on the word if it's the same so when let me just close the section and check and check if it's the same yeah so when we check we can see that um, the, the these chinese text are similar to what is over here and this text you can see the characters are the same everything is the same yeah, so it translated everything, sorry, everything to, I don't know what I'm making, it's English. I'm making uh, mistakes with my language, sorry. So it gives you an overview of um, the company profile and everything that was in the PDF that we we saw. So I will encourage students in non-speaking, sorry, non-English speaking countries to get this. If you cannot get the local to translate it for you. Because I know some locales, um, when they translate your document, you are going to pay a fee. So you can use this. And if this video is very helpful to you, give me some comments in my, um, under, my, under my video. And I'll leave the link of this, um, this AI translation tool in the description section. So like, subscribe, and comment. Sorry, like and subscribe to my video. And share my videos with um, any student who is living in non-English speaking countries and um, share with your friends. And even those who do trans document translation and proofreading, this is also going to be very helpful to you. So like and subscribe to my video, share my video with your friends, your classmates, and see you. Bye-bye.